Hi and welcome to Getting Into Raw Cooking with Zane. Today we're going to use the Optimum 400 juicer to make a juice that's a little bit different. Now most of us don't think of eating sweet potato raw, but you totally can. So this is a sweet potato and vegetable juice with just a little bit of apple for sweetness. I've chopped everything into bite-sized pieces so I can feed them straight down the feed juice of the Optimum 400 juicer. This is a great slow juicer. It's really slow, which means that none of the enzymes are damaged. It's actually the slowest slow juicer on the market. And all you need to do is feed the food through. Pulp comes out one side, juice comes out the other, and you can juice just about anything. Your greens, your sweet fruits, your savory ingredients, whatever you like. Well, you just feed them in just a little bit at a time. If you need to, you can use the tamper to push down to encourage everything to flow through quite easily. Apples are a great um, fruit to use. They're not too sugary, so they give you a little bit of sweetness, but they're good for the body. And actually, as a side note, did you know that apples are great for seasickness? If you ever have seasickness, eat a green apple. I pop some lime in there. Really important, if you're leaving the rind on the lime, that you do chop them into small pieces so that they can feed through the juicer gently. There we go. Well, I'll quickly feed this in. So there we go, a little bit of sweet potato, some red capsicum, apple, lime, a nice bit of sweet potato. Now you can increase the sweet potato and replace some of the carrots for a really great different style, different tasting juice. Remembering there's heaps of health benefits in there. The vitamin C content in the red capsicum is amazing. Carrots, if you chop them at a cross section, you can see again, they look like the eye socket, which means that they're actually really good for the eyes, and we all knew that already, didn't we? We all know Bugs Bunny. Um, and then the lime gives a little bit of zing. You might like to add a little bit of ginger too if you want something a bit different. We have all the pulp here in one side, and I'd really recommend that you don't throw that out. You can keep it, mix it with other things, make it into little veggie patties. If you cook, you can cook them on the stove. If you don't cook, you can pop them in your dehydrator until they go quite firm. They're absolutely delicious. You can even make pizza bases with that one. So that is a delicious juice, easy to to make in your Optimum 400 slow juicer. If you want to get your own Optimum 400 slow juicer, just have a look down below in the links in the description. You'll find the Fruity channel, the Fruity website closest to you. Ciao for now.